Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. It's me, a little bit. How is your days go? Your days? <laughs> How your day going so far? I hope it's good because mine is going very much like cramps. But anyways, I still gotta do this video. And I, what the hell is that on that tree? Back to y'all. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just cramping, but I it's it's gonna work into my favor. It's working for my good, you know. I'm a, I'm really down bad right now, y'all. It really, really do hurt, but it's going to get better. But, wow, you know, I don't know if, I don't know how to say something, I'm just going to just say it. You know how you don't know how to say something, but you just, you just going to say it, even though you don't, you don't know how to say it, you just going to try to say it, so I'm just going to try to say it. All right, y'all, so, every, we all know this is very aggravating, okay? She can be very, very aggravating, and... I don't like when I'm doing something and she comes and tell me to do something else in the midst of me already doing something and then she kind of sort of like get frustrated with you didn't hear me and it's like you see me doing something so why would you ask me to do something else so I decided to come up with a set of rules yeah I came up with a set of rules and she's gonna sit down and she's gonna hear these rules because I just feel like put some respect on my name don't play with me because i'm short don't play with me show some respect carswell team red yeah you heard me i said it show some respect so yeah she's about to show me some respect because i'm about to give her these rules and if she don't do what the rules say or if she go against the rule she gotta pay you feel me? She got to pay. And that's just that on that. Because these are the new rules. They're going to be set, ground, and stamped. I have went through all of the government officials. And everybody have voted that this is the right way. So now we have to tell the defendant what's about to happen. Let's go. It's my court. All rise. Girl, that goddamn Listerine burns a lot. Let's go. What are you doing, Order in my court. Could you please state your name? Look at, I'm, what are you doing? I'm not doing no police ass shit like that. Ma'am, please don't use that type of language in my courtroom. Could you please state your name? Why do you have on my card? Could you, you please state your name? Red. Carswell. Little bit, don't say my damn last name, Johnson. Ma'am, order in the court. <laughs> what are you doing? Today you have been bought upon my courtroom. Um, what did I buy? You mean brought? I said brought upon my courtroom. You have been brought into my courtroom due to some circumstances that, ma'am, excuse me. Order in the court. Do your thing talk? It doesn't. So you have been brought here because um, someone has a few issues with things that you know. I guess that you have been doing, causing, or whatever that goes. So um, we're going to just, you know, go ahead and get straight to it. Um, Deputy Twinkle Toes, could you please bring in the evidence? Deputy Twinkletoes. Deputy Twinkletoes. All right, so moving forward with this case. No, honestly, what's the problem? Why are you doing this? Like, this, I don't like, you know, police said shit like this. Moving forward with the case. Um, Like I was saying, um, there's a few things, I guess, that you have going on. Why do there you have my name on a piece of paper? Please don't look at it. Um, I can look at anything pertaining to me. Correct, but not in my courtroom. Outside, you can do whatever. Okay, so you have dogs in your courtroom? He's a rescue animal. <laughs> Girl, I'm not. I've been on, today was leg day in the gym. Okay, well, 
This won't take long. This won't take long. Uh, what you mean this won't take long? I didn't do nothing. So I don't even understand why you even summoned anything. It's okay, that's okay. Y'all change gavels? I had to change that one. You know, my, my handle part broke. It's unfortunate. It's or did it speak? Generations and generations in my family. Well, I'm gonna sit down because I'm tired. Oh, have a seat. Make, make, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> That's what makes you comfortable. Today, you have been brought into my courtroom due to a few issues that um, I guess the people who you reside with, they are feeling, you know, that there need to be some rules set or things could be like detrimental. What are you talking and, about? Um, so I'm going to just root, um, read off of this piece of evidence that I have. From um, who? Girl, what are you talking about? I can be using my foot massage while I'm going through this because I don't understand it. I really don't understand what's going on. order in the court. I don't do no police stuff. Order in my courtroom. Well, I, I, I honestly, I let you sit down. Now I need you to like, you know. I'm scared of the hoes. That, that's, oh! that's what he's here for. Oh! That's what he's here for, he's scared of All right, so this is just an agreement that after I go over it, you can, you know, sign it, agree, and you know, you can go on about your life. Okay, so. This here says, uh, these are house rules for the one and only red. Are you red? I am red. red. Okay, so. Well, let me answer, Your Honor. Lux, we have, oh, quite a bit. <laughs> You're pretty, pretty uh, troubling, huh? Let okay, me so. see that. Do I get a copy? Yes, you get a copy at the court. Um, because we're going to need your signature, you know, stuff like that. All right. Okay, so. I don't do no police um, stuff like that. House rules for the one and only red. And it reads as follow. Um, rule number one. It says 500 for every assumption that you make. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have number two. You have 25 jumping jacks for every time you say someone is musky. Okay. Aren't you reading it all? You're gonna ask me why I just want to make one. sure you understand each and every rule before I move forward. Right. Rule number three. If you were close, probably a little hot. A um, hundred dollars per face expression. What? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Um, two hundred dollars for loud talking. That's rule number four. Rule number five. This is quite a big long one, so just. Okay. Okay, we have one hundred dollars for every time you ask a little bit for a charger. Two hundred if you have to use the charger, and four hundred if you use without permission. So an eight hundred dollar charge in one rule. Um, uh, ma'am, that's seven. And you two, two, and four. It's one, two, and four, ma'am. Oh, I thought it was four. Say, see, this is why. Yeah, you but if you open my mouth myself. a little bit more. No, I've been pretty much talking the same way. Please don't contempt my court. Um, rule number six, we have fake ass party ears. You got on. Like you're really blowing me right now. What judge wear party ears? Rule number six, to we have fifteen push ups every time you bother someone for no reason slash petty moments. Um, we have rule number seven, $300 every time you roll up in the covers and take the covers for a little bit. Understood? My Do you even know up. these people you're speaking for? Yes, I'm speaking for... Who's the defendant? Your fiance, Ms. Johnson? No, she would be the plaintiff. <laughs> I'm the defendant. I said your fiance. I never said plaintiff or defendant. I said your fiance. I asked who was a defendant. No, you asked said, who was I speaking for? And I told so you. So as a judge, you're speaking for the plaintiff, not a lawyer? No, because I am the judge, the lawyer, and the jury. <laughs> oh! Okay. So the system is bound for me to fail. Set me up to fail. Correct, Your Honor? This system is bound for you to do better. Um, 
push ups, that, that's a great workout. It gets the heart going, you know, strengthen the arm. Your Honor, can you finish up my uh, of counts? Course, of course. Because you're calling them rules when they really count. All right. So, um, thank you. Number eight, we have $100 every time you ask for a lighter. So I will keep one with you, buddy. <laughs> that's pretty much. Then we have rule number nine. Um, this is a pit, pretty big one. So just listen to me, okay? We have $1,000 for digging in little bits, but, and if you smell your finger, that's an additional 200. Oh, that is crazy. That's crazy. And then we have number 10, um, $300 every time anybody in the house have to see you in your two piece, whatever that is. I don't know if it's a wing and a thigh, a breast and a leg. Your two piece, whatever your two piece is. If I was your girl, I would put it away. Um, number eleven. We have twenty push-ups every time you bully Naya, and in twenty-five if it's Cortez. Whew, girl, if I was you, I would leave Naya and Cortez alone. Then we have rule number 12. Number 12 is $250 every time you say a little bit wasteful. I'm gonna say that a lot. $250, that's, that's, that's nice. I'm trying to figure out who brought the charges to court. Your fiance. Where is she? Right here. On the paper? In the paper, in the words, in the speech. She's everywhere. Okay. Okay. You do divorces? I do divorces. Okay. Only for married couples. You just have a fiance. You know? oh, okay. Um, okay, so number 13, I have a hundred dollars uh, every time you ask a little bit to turn off the room light. <laughs> and seventy-five if you ask nine. Okay. Number fourteen. We have um $300 every time you ask a little bit to do something while she's already doing something. And there will be a 75 additional charge per request. Understand? Okay. Moving forward. Number 15. We have 30 jumping jacks with no bra. Every time you go... Every time you go to find something to complain about. Uh. Okay. Number 16, we have $50 for every time you say loser. Ma'am, could you please put your phone down in my courtroom? Thank you. Show some respect. This is why you're in here right now. It's because of the decisions that you make and the way that you act. If you didn't act like that, you wouldn't even be in my courtroom. But you're here. So okay. I'm gonna need for you to show me some respect how I'm showing you respect. Me your bedroom, yeah. It's my courtroom. So let me know when you're ready. Okay, so <laughs> See you putting that bed. number 17, <laughs> we have $25 every time you tell Naya she can't watch the phone with you. Hey, it's not this is not my ruling. These are but as a judge, as how do you judge, I am not that, here. I am not you here. Can't I force I nobody let somebody else watch their phone. Understandable, understandable, but I am here. Do you hear what you're even trying to let be how lawful? Am I, how am I let I'm a law bond citizen, and you're going to sit here and really just... Well, obviously you're not. Obviously you're not. You didn't even ask for my evidence. You didn't ask I can ask for your evidence, but I must present this first. You're presenting a case to me? No, I'm presenting rules to you. That you agree with. This, this you don't. Know I am me. here for justice. I'm not here to pick and choose any of that. Okay. I am here strictly for justice. Okay. And obviously, with everything that's written down on this paper, you, you're you're quite a problem. Oh, of course you would think. To society, that. you're quite a problem. And now it's society. Okay. As follow. Number eighteen. Twenty five push ups with no bra illegal. for every time you tell a lie. This is illegal. Okay, we can always take it to Supreme. No. <laughs> Sour cream, tomatoes, whatever you need. 
okay, <coughs> oh my God. for number 19. We have, <laughs> we have $50 every time you say Gates daddy told you to watch him. Guess you better stop saying that, girl. Number 20, as follows. We have 10 sprints every time you call Star a Mexican. And 20, if you see something or someone is Hispanic, and call Star a Mexican. So if I was you, I would have the tacos. Um, we have number 21 here. It's uh, $250 every time you use your favorite filter on IG Wild Wild. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you please show some? I, have I would really hate to call my deputy. Ma'am. Ma'am. This is really getting old. And well, you're steady going with rules? Well, we're almost done. Okay. 22. Um, I see here and there's a 150 charge every time you call a little bit your man. Well, man being a little bit, that's not much of a man. So that should be it. If you see him, you will understand. Well, I doubt you. I'll stop. Whatever it is. Number 23, as follows. $100 every time you say your shirt smells like corn chips after a little bit of weather. <laughs> I can only imagine what my coat is going to smell like. You better... I don't have to say gorgeous. Mm. Number 24. Chips that are corn. 40 jumping jacks, no bra for snoring. You can't do that. I don't know if I'm snoring in my sleep. So how you gonna even try to charge somebody if they don't know what they're doing? Okay. And number 25, last and not least. You have $150 for every time you tell a little bit. Her feet are fins? You say that type of stuff to people? Well, you shouldn't see the puddles the motherfuckers leave behind. You will be calling her ass. You know what, Mr. Mrs. Too. Carr as well? Going over these rules and all of this, you you are the you problem. You don't agree with it. No, you're all the problem. No, you don't agree. No, you are the problem. Seeing agree. the way that you come into my courtroom and acting, I have done absolutely nothing to you. So I can only imagine because what this young me lady what to do goes you through know at home. Want. And you need to get your act together. That's what you need to do. You I don't even I don't even talk to people like this in my courtroom. But you you are really pushing it, miss. You really are. And you really need to get it together. Because it doesn't make any sense. You have a chance at life, and this is what you do with it. You don't know me. So stop rooting for well, me. Well, the people that do know you obviously are having a problem. So I don't want to know you. Because I don't want problems in my life. I don't like this. If someone has to come to court. You're before you her and you don't even know what happened. She dresses like a man. Why wouldn't I call her? I don't her care. Man? She dressed like a flamingo. I don't care. And you don't These even know rules, the toddler. Man, I, I am speaking. And this is my courtroom. Not yours. <laughs> I would like to call a witness. Deputy. I would like to call a witness. Call your witness. Who, 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 who's gonna take up for you? Naya. Witness Naya, Naya, can you please come to the stand, please, to the witness stand? Right here. <laughs> I'll take my shoes off and turn around and look at the judge. Is your name Naya? Does Red stop you from watching the phone with her? No. Would you like for Red to stop doing that? You don't want to watch the phone with Red? So you want her to you want her to stop saying you don't want her to watch the phone with you? No. Cause you like watching the phone, right? Does she like watching the phone? Does she like watching the phone with you? Is she ever mean to Cortez? No. She ever mean to you? No. She's nice to you? Mm -hmm. I'm nice to Cortez too. Really? Okay. What did Red do that makes you mad? She's making him. 
She give you candy when you're mad. Okay, and what are some things you don't like about Red? Don't Red. Say I like everything. No, 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 no excuse me. Don't, don't. You may leave. You may leave now. Thank you. Thank you, witness. You can go in the room. I'll be over there with you, buddy. See? She's mean to you. Go ahead. Go to the room. Go play with your toys. You mean. She's mean. You mean, man. Looks like you just lost the one person you called on. That's the only credible witness I have. To credible? Call. Look at how you just treated her. I didn't treat her. You were nice to her. So, with this being said, it is here that I say in my court. So, we're ruling? We are ruling. You're not going to give me a chance to... judge and I just need your signature here with the date here date here that you understand the following of this case and that you are going to work you also have a copy of this paperwork due to sign it so deputy and deputy she, twinkle toes she be at the boom the boom down the boom boom room after work. Is what Whatever she does after work, ma'am, that has nothing. And she be absolutely in nothing to do. Like, with you know, she work at the court. Could you please pass this over to her so she can sign these documents and then go get copies for me, please? You let them come to court like that? I didn't know you could show your name in court. You have no shoes on in court. What do you mean? All right, is she going to jail, Your Honor? She needs oh, to damn. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Here, here, go. Here, here, right there. Damn. He could go ahead and arrest her and take her into um, <laughs> Don't touch me. Come tilt up my courtroom. Do not let the bully scare you. This is why she's having problems at her house right now. Okay. All right. Uh, Court session yeah. is over. <laughs> How did you feel about how things turned out in court for you? I think that this is some bullshit. I did not do none of that stuff that they said that I did. And all I know is I did not get a fair trial on my own day in court. I believe in the people in the United States of America. And I feel like they never gave me all my taxes. And every time I was thinking about my mama not being there for me, I was like, damn, I'm going to end up in court one day. But I do feel like the judge need to go to hell. Okay. And she did not help me out. Got and I ain't you. got no money. And you ain't even at my side of the story. Wow, well, we see that she's very still angry and upset. Those rules are not going to change her. Um, I just hope for the best for her. And, you know, that wraps up this case.